HitchPipe provides the quality content. Binge Pipe, in an effort to taint your childhood memories, has decided to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, the earth is flat. Hey there, I'm Cookie Masterson, and if you trick me into saying my name backwards, you automatically win. Looks like we have a head to 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 head competition. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Start the game. Time for question one. To begin with, close but not close enough encounters. Which title character is an alien? The Martian, the Giver, the Thing, or Her? So what'd you pick? Don't cry, it'll grow back. <laughs> the monster that attacks an Arctic research station did in fact come out of a ship from outer space. I hate confusing titles. I walked out of the Iron Lady furious it wasn't a movie about Meryl Streep fighting crime in a suit of armor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Introducing Killer Micah. Imagine the hip-hop duo Run the Jewels ran barefoot over a bunch of diamonds, destroying their feet but inspiring a song. Which of the following lyrics would not reference a traditional cut diamond shape? My feet are a mess, these cuts are princess, loss of blood is common, the cuts are almond. Through the pain I'm pushing, my cuts are cushion, or blood up to my knees, those cuts are my- Who picked what? Well, too late now. Almond is actually a popular fingernail shape, but not used to describe a diamond. Why don't we do it with three? Why not try? I waxed my tongue, now it Thor. I'm gonna read seven names, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's a Norse god like Thor, or a brand of hair removal wax. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between a Norse god or a body wax. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Here it comes. Free up. Most of you deserve a group hug. Now let's keep going. I don't need you anymore. Here's one for you. Adult Swim Fan. Note to self, remove dated reference to 2002 thriller Swim Fan before game's release. I keep hearing about this cartoon Rick and Morty. What's it about? Rick and his grandfather Morty, Rick and his uncle Morty, Rick and his dad Morty, or Morty and his grandfather Rick? Hope you like what you picked. Yep, grandfather. Oh, wait, no, no, something's wrong. <laughs> Rick and Morty is about a boy named Morty and his dangerous genius grandfather, Rick. Sounds good. Maybe I should become way too obsessed with it. Like 
Up next. Trippin' on friendship. Guys, great news. I got invited to an EDM concert by a group of frightening teenagers. They told me we're gonna trip on mescaline, and I'm the one who needs to bring all the mescaline. Am I saying that right? Quick, where can I get some mescaline? A grocery store, a hardware store, a craft store, or a pharmacy? And how do we do? <laughs> Mescaline is a mix of assorted salad greens. Hold on, I think maybe those teens were talking about a psychedelic drug, which is too bad because, mm, this salad is so good. <laughs> Round one is dead to me. Numbers don't lie, let's take a look. Currently, player six is in the lead. Speaking of the exact opposite of that, these players are doing the bad thing. Sounds like it's screw time. That is the truth, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. I am feeling joy. Six trombones is not a parade. Next up. Marry me! Asking someone to marry you is nice, but who cares if only one person hears the proposal? If you want everyone to appreciate how frigging adorable you are when you pop the question, how can you reach the most people? A stadium ad in the FIFA World Cup Finals? A celebrity announcement during the Oscars? A th oh, this'll be good. <laughs> Player 4 just screwed the room. Good luck following the bouncing answer. Okay, let's take a look. That'll run you about five million dollars, and uh, no. This is the one you missed. All these choices would reach millions, but the World Cup Finals is seen by up to a billion viewers. Pretty cool if marriage is one of your life goals! Oh, excellent screwing player four. Here's your extra cash. Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. 7. Feast your eyes upon this. Cashing in on your international friendcation. And oh boy, best butt zit slime chore. It's time for a... Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, get ready. Look at this here gibberish phrase and tell me what popular phrase it rhymes with. France hike, no buddies, cha-ching, and pay no attention to that punctuation. Let loose, be free. Move your body as if people have their eyes closed. thinking it. <laughs> Moving right along. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Next. Waxing nostalgic. I'm feeling wistful. So I brought out my old ventriloquist dummy, Billy O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> did you miss me, Donny? You know, I actually did. Hey, you want to read a question for old time's sake? Why, indubitably. 
If Cookie remembers the good times with me, Dutch forgets the dad times. What to psychological to non is he experiencing? Fading affect. Look sharp. Player two has invoked the screw. Time to find out what you signed up for. Okay, who chose what? <laughs> oh, look at this. Fading affect dias is the tendency to forget dad nanneries and remember good nanneries. Well, thanks for stopping by, Billy. That will definitely be a good memory. That's it? He didn't even play my song. Yeah, I know. We're not doing songs for special questions in this game, Billy. Binge Pipe says it's too expensive. One's made of skin, one's made of wood. Wah, wah. Who's the Danny? Not me. Like that song? Mm hmm. You proud of yourself? Yes. Yeah, that screw is a good move, player two. I believe this belongs to you. <laughs> there is no hiding from. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? It's a monster. Known for... Wait a minute, you said Dinch Tight cut the songs. Come on, Billy, you've only got one question in this game. Making you a new song seemed like a waste of time. Can I do one more question then, please? <sighs> Fine, you can finish this question. First started the humans in the 1920s. Octotus, coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein's monster. So who got it? Queen Elizabeth II was first started die humans in 1926. Chattedly seconds after she was born. <laughs> I'm sorry I lied to you, Billy. You want to stick around for the rest of the game? Nah, I got a hot date tonight, and I need to lose some Nate. How are you going to lose weight by tonight? Tonight. Yup, now I remember why we stopped doing that question type. And now, how to get away with identity theft. Based on her first name, how might actress Viola Davis compare to a hypothetical actress named Violin Davis? She would be smaller and thinner than Violin Davis. She would have greater range than Violin Davis. She would have a deeper, mellower voice than Violin Davis. Or she would be different than Violin Davis in... What'd you guys pick? Come on, let's be real. Nobody has greater range than Violin Davis. <laughs> A viola is a larger instrument than a violin, and has a deeper, mellower sound to it. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We made marathon for you! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I'm with the band. Hope you know your band lineups. Rock on!
Player 7 takes it! Well done, Player 7. From this day henceforth, you shall be known as that person who won that game that one time. It's mostly an honorary title because... You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. <clears throat> I'm feeling wistful, so I brought my old ventriloquist dunny, dunny. Damn it! Come on, let's take it from the tot. Look short. <clears throat> I'm feeling wistful, so I bought my old not dot, draught. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Do you need a five-minute drink? Seriously, should we take a five? Your nine is obviously elsewhere, you amateur. Why are you such a? F Cause that's the way I was made. <sighs> Look, it's just, it's been like four years. Reunions are hard. Not for the Snuggers brothers. Yeah, because they never separated. Let's start from the top. <clears throat> I'm feeling wistful. So I brought out my old ventriloquist dummy, Billy O'Brien. Did you miss me, Dunny? Yeah, I really did. Me too, you dick, Dunny. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content.